Welcome back to the podcast brought to you by Market Scale. I'm your host, Taylor Stanridge. I have the utmost honor to talk with Rod Cowlins today. He's the president of Bulldog Mobile Advertising. He has a lot of special insight in the world of mobile advertising and kind of what's the future of that industry and just that aspect of advertising. So, Rod, thank you so much for joining the show today. Thanks for having me. So I know that you are the president of Bulldog Mobile Billboards. So what does that mean for you on a daily basis? I'm sure you're focusing on sales and marketing and how to grow your company. What what else do you do on a daily basis as the president? Uh, it's kind of uh, whatever is needed. You know, I, I talked to somebody not long ago who was <clears throat> just beginning the entrepreneurial lifestyle. And, and I was just talking about the idea that you do whatever you have to do each and every day. It's not necessarily what makes you happy or what you want to do. It's what you have to do. <clears throat> so I would tell you that every day... I kind of know what I'd like to accomplish and what I'd like to work on, but that's not necessarily what generally happens um, because, uh, you know, I, I, I work all day trying to make my phone ring. And when the phone does ring, I react. Well, I know that you have an interesting story of how you started in the industry. I think 11 years ago, you purchased your first truck and now you have an entire empire of advertising billboards. Kind of kind of tell us why you went into advertising. So, yeah, I, I was laid off um, 11 years ago, and I had a $20,000 severance check, and I uh, was looking to buy a franchise. I had a franchise advisor, and they had studied my wherewithal and surveyed me and figured out what my skill sets and interests were, and they recommended five or six franchises at the time. And while I was going through that process, I was also doing my own due diligence, and I found uh, a small industry with two or three manufacturers of glass walled scrolling billboard trucks. And I just, I, I actually went and saw all three of those companies and uh, bought a scrolling billboard truck. Uh, I have a fair amount of experience in the franchise world. And I thought, I think I can do this on my own without all the rules of a franchise. So, uh, and I also thought that I could do, uh, I could run the company without the primary benefits of systems and marketing assistance. And um, so that's how we got started. I, I changed my business model about six or eight months in because I, I realized that the scrolling systems didn't work as well as I had hoped. And um, and I started doing dedicated advertising on trucks, uh, geez, back in 2007. Wow. So you've been at this a while. <laughs> yeah. And it, it has changed and grown. And, and what I've done is I've had different kinds of trucks to my fleet so that I could take advantage of slow times with one type of truck and 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 pick up business with the other type of truck, uh, and that that you know that just has helped me quite a bit to have the ability to sell two different products and right around and lately I've been selling three different products with the advent of digital or LED trucks that are out there. I've been putting business on other owners LED trucks lately uh, around the country, and that's helping me even more to have three similar but different kinds of advertising trucks to sell. Well, let's talk about LED advertising for a second, because we just talked with um, a person on digital signage the other day. We had a guess about digital signage and just the fact that market share is going to be, it's getting eaten up already by this because LED is the future of advertising. Uh, So can you kind of explain this aggressive adoption of LED so far in the market? So there's a, a natural um, delay for folks to get in the business in that the LED trucks are so expensive. Uh, I've been looking at LED for a couple of years now, and to buy a new truck, which is what I want given my um, pending learning curve and desire for service, uh, as opposed to if I buy an as-is used truck from somebody, uh, I want a new truck, and the going rate for a new LED truck uh, and I haven't done an exhaustive search, but I've talked to four or five or six, probably six different uh, LED truck manufacturers. The going rate for a brand new truck is probably anywhere from one hundred and twenty thousand to one hundred and ninety thousand uh, dollars is the typical price point. So that is going to cause a lot of folks not to get in the business, um, and it's also going to cause some folks to buy a used truck, which might be a mistake if they've not been in the business before. And they've certainly not owned an LED truck before, depending on who they buy it from. Uh, so that, that's that's where I'm at right now. Uh, I think that it is it's definitely taking market share. One of the reasons is uh, on a on a standard billboard truck, you have to sell the client print production, 
which is anywhere from, I don't know, $600 to $1,200. And not only do you sell them the print production, which only fits on that particular truck, but you also have to wait four or five days for the printer to get the proofs and uh, approved and then also print and finish the billboards. And then you, you take a couple hours installing those billboards. All of that goes away with an LED truck uh, in, in that you get the art and you if, if it's appropriate for the system, you hit a few buttons and it's on your truck right now. Well, that's crazy cool. Yeah, I, I, I definitely can see that um led i mean you can get a you can get a billboard or your ad out there immediately instead of having to wait you know the full week to get everything approved and hung up and everything so just from what you're seeing i know that mobile advertising might not be uh the first thought that people have people think that they have to go with the standard advertisement or the standard billboard what what makes mobile advertising different like i know that it's more affordable but what can you tell you know our listeners about why mobile advertising is succeeding so well in the market it can't be ignored. It can't be fast forwarded through. It can't be, you know, on our cars these days, we don't even have to reach to the radio and push a preset button. It's in our steering wheels. Uh, there's so many ways to try to ignore advertising. Meanwhile, the average American is hit with probably five to 10,000 advertisements a day. So there's a lot of advertising clutter out there. I believe that advertising on a vehicle cuts through the clutter in that it's it's disruptive it gets it's in your face we hope that people open their eyes when they're walking and driving and they tend to do that uh, on top of that when you're in a in a in a car and you see an ad on a billboard truck every third or fourth car has two people in it i think the average number of people i've seen from uh the Department of Transportation is something like 1.67 people in every car. Frequently, what happens is when there's two people in a car and they see an ad for Joe's Pizza, one person might say to the other, have you tried Joe's Pizza? And there's, there's a conversation about it, which just um, extends the value of that advertising. That's awesome. Well, uh, I appreciate your insight so far. As far as um, you being a thought leader, you've been, you've been in the industry over a decade now. Um, what what are you seeing as far as you know the people that remain to be successful in this business? What are they doing right, and what are they focusing on? Well, first of all, there's a lot of folks that ten years ago, and I, I believe it might be starting again with the LED trucks. People saw the scrolling billboard trucks, and they thought, "Oh my God, that's awesome! That's the greatest thing ever." And I got I've had a lot of conversations with people when they told me how great my truck was. They also did not talk to me about the fact that they had an advertising budget and they wanted to buy advertising on it. So I think that the people that uh, did this before and might be doing it again with the LED trucks, they think it's going to sell itself. And the important thing is you have to be able to look yourself in the mirror and, and, and acknowledge that you are or you are not a salesperson that can get out there and talk to people and talk to the right people and focus on an, an activity that's going to bring more business to your company. Just driving the truck around with ads on it is not going to bring more business to your company. Yeah, every once in a while, we all get lucky and we all sell something because somebody saw us and we develop a relationship with them if we can stop and have a conversation with them. Um, but really, it's a sales and marketing play more than just a capital acquisition of a, of a vehicle that, that is cool. You have to be out, out there selling and you have to be out there selling effectively. Yeah, I definitely agree. You have to have a very serious and dedicated sales mindset and you know, you got to focus on your service and your vehicles and just that's going to ultimately skyrocket your sales. Just like you said, you can't drive in a truck. So I completely agree. Uh, Rod, it's been an honor having you on the show. I just appreciate everything that you're saying. And uh, is there anything that is there anything that you want to tell our listeners about your business if they want to find out more information or if they want to follow you as a thought leader? Is there like a blog or something that we can follow? I, I would either check out BulldogBillboards.com or go to Bulldog Billboards, one word, on YouTube, I've got about 80 or 90 videos of previous campaigns that have generated on upwards of 75,000 views of my of my videos of previous campaigns. So either check out BulldogBillboards.com or Bulldog Billboards on YouTube. Well, you heard them. Check them out. BulldogBillboards.com or Bulldog Billboards on YouTube. You're going to be able to find some amazing campaigns and just seeing what Rod does on a daily basis. Rod, thank you so much for joining today. I appreciate it. Take care. 
His website, again, is bulldogbillboards.com. You can also go to his YouTube channel, just like he said before, Bulldog Billboards, one word. You can find out all of his vlogs and campaigns there. You can find out all the work that he's been doing. He's been doing this quite a while, so if you're in that space, definitely check it out. He's got a lot to offer content-wise. And if you want to follow us at marketscale.com, we have tons of blogs for you as well as podcasts just like this and even news minutes just covering the latest industry trends going on in this space. So until next time, I'm your host, Taylor Standridge. We'll see you next time.